this is Chuck Murundi, and I want to share a little bit with you today about how to get a high internet speed. One of the challenges when you buy a new home in an area like Squim, a rural area on the Olympic Peninsula, is getting good high speed internet. Now, I've been using CenturyLink for quite a while, but it's very slow in my area. 10 megabytes down and only about 1 megabyte up. Very frustrating. I could live with the 10 megabytes down, but one megabyte up, well, that takes, oh man, to upload a five minute video to YouTube can take five to six hours. Very, very frustrating. So uh, I've spent a lot of time trying to find a way to get a higher speed internet. Uh, Wave doesn't serve my area. There's another service that is only five megabytes download. That won't work. And so I finally stumbled upon the mobile hotspots. And I went ahead and purchased a Verizon Ellipsis jetpack. But the salesman did not tell me that this is old technology. There are uh, three generations since that. Um, and so <laughs> this Ellipsis still being sold by... Um, Verizon is actually several generations old and I had a lot of trouble trying to get the speed that I should have gotten out of it with this mobile hotspot using Verizon. And then there are frequencies supported and carrier aggregation issues and multiple in, multiple out technology concerns. The ellipsis is outdated, does not handle this stuff. So I just want to share with you many, many hours that I've put into trying to get a high speed uh, internet. And I stumbled across the Netgear Nighthawk MR1100. This thing is absolutely fantastic and it blows away any of the jetpacks that Verizon is selling. Look how fast this thing is. 35, almost 36 megabytes download. And look, uh, 12, 13 megabytes per second upload. This is fantastic. And it is way faster than my CenturyLink internet service and uh, this particular Netgear uh, mobile hotspot is so much better. <laughs> Celebrating is so much fun, isn't it? Hold everything, stop. You wish there was such a happy ending. What is it we want? Affordable internet? High speed internet? Unlimited data? Unthrottled? Reliable and consistent service. Guess what? This does not exist. I thought I found the answer with Verizon's unlimited, untrottled data service with the Netgear Nighthawk mobile device. Alas, Verizon's data plan did throttle me after only four days. I had to terminate that service and look for another data plan that would work with my Netgear Nighthawk. By the way, what uses so much data even when you aren't doing much on the internet? Netflix and YouTube uses tremendous data and devices connected to the internet are constantly checking for updates and checking email, text, tweets, and new Facebook posts, plus all the notifications you have on your smartphone, iPads, and laptop. Even when you aren't doing anything on the internet, you have data packets going back and forth using data and sucking up your bandwidth. There are resellers like NetBuddy and UnlimitedLeasing.com, but they are unreliable and many unhappy customers out there. All data plans for mobile devices are now limited and throttled. I went with AT&T, but they only offer a max 50 or 100 gig plan for 50 or $100. They also make you buy and use their own mobile modem for $200, so I can't use my Nighthawk. All this means I have two internet services now, one unlimited with CenturyLink with an upload speed that is far too slow for my video uploads to YouTube, and my AT&T data service with 50 gigs a month, which I'll use only for my video uploads. So I ended up with CenturyLink with unlimited but slow uploads for $69 a month, 
and AT&T for $50 a month. But look what I'm getting with AT&T now. Look at this download speed, 85 megabytes per second download. Are you serious? And 28 up? Why do AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, and T-Mobile no longer offer unlimited and unthrottled plans? Because gamers were using massive data into the terabytes, and it was killing the bandwidth for the rest of us. Hey, my final tip is this. When you're looking at homes, take out your cell phone and test the signal strength and the upload and download speeds. And know that your home's specific location and proximity to a cell tower will determine which service you use, whether you go with Verizon or AT&T or Sprint or T-Mobile. Yeah, don't you hate the learning curve?